Hi everyone, I'm Ken. I've gone caravanning. In today's video, we wanted to share with you a fix for a problem we've been having for a couple of months now, and that's with our toilet, the Dometic CTS 4110. Now the problem we've been having is the handle to pull out to go to the toilet is getting stuck, and it's actually, it's like we need to have two hands to pull it open. And when we do get it open, it feels like we're gonna pull it right out and break it. So we've tried a few different things and they haven't worked, but we finally have a solution. So let's go have a look at how, what we did and how to fix it. Let's go. Okay. We pull out the toilet cassette. Just pull the handle out. And you might notice there on that handle, it's actually got a bit of a scratch in it. And uh, I'll show you. I'll show you in a little while. Just underneath there, there's some screws. And uh, what we found is they were actually very loose, and that has actually caused that scratch. Uh, we didn't know that until we pulled it apart. So. Alrighty, so what we need to do today is to take this bit out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab it there and we're just going to give it a twist. Now this might be hard the first time. But give it a twist and pull it out. Now we'll just leave that over there for a minute. And what we're going to do next, we're just going to open up that. And just inside there, there is a white ring. And we're just going to pop that white ring out and take it out. And then we're gonna pull this rubber out here, just like that. Now, I brought some rags with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give that a good wipe over and a good clean. And then if you've been spraying other stuff in there, uh, for us, we, we sprayed some uh, silicon spray in there at one point. I can tell you that didn't work. We also put some um, tap grease in there we thought that would fix it and that didn't work. I will show you what does work in a minute but first we need to take that out. Okay, we're just going to flip that over there now and you'll see the two sliding bars there. So what we're going to do is we'll just, just pop that this, this one off. That, that will just pull off the end like that. You can take that one off if you want to, but we need to go in, take this and, and, and wipe all the excess grease and stuff off from on it, that's been on it from before. Wipe that all off and some grooves in there. So that that's sliding in and out like that. So all the grooves in there. What we need to do is take that inside and just put it in some warm water and try and wash out any old grease, any old spray or anything old that's been in there. And that's the same with the rubber. Give the rubber a good clean in some soapy water, warm, not hot, and just clean it off. Once you've got it all cleaned up and put back together, then we're going to turn it over. And this is the magic. I bought this from Super Cheap Auto. This is silicon grease, and that costs about $9.95, I think. And we're just gonna put some of that in there. The first place we're gonna put some is just on that bar there. I'm just gonna rub it on there. A little bit on that one. I'm just gonna move that in and out a few times. You can see they're just sliding nicely. Lining nicely. Now we're going to put the rubber back in. It's nice and clean. Put the rubber back in. Just pop it back in there like that. Take their white ring. Pop it back in. Like that. And then we're going to take our silicon grease. We're just going to rub it around the inside, down the bottom. Just around there. And a little bit just around that rubber there. Just 
just like that. We're going to slip that cover back on. Close that one, close that one. I'm going to take our toilet. This needs to be in the open position to put this back on. I'm going to line up the slots in the holes back where we got it from. Pull it back around and lock it in. As you can see, there's some nice grease around there. Nice grease around there. If you want to just rub your finger and just put a little bit more around in there. And that's it. Job done. Let's put that back in there. Let's go back inside and see how it works. Okay. Now we have a very smooth, just slides in and out. Now we've actually did that about a month ago now, and that's been working perfectly ever since. So if you're having a problem with yours, and it's getting stuck, and very hard to pull out, that's what you need to do. And the secret is silicon grease. Not sprays, not WD-40, not silicon spray, not tap grease, silicon grease. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you'd like to know how to remove the Dometic CTS 4110 cassette toilet from your caravan, then watch the following preview, and we'll put a link in the description to show you how. Hi, everyone. I'm Ken, and I've gone caravanning. In today's video, we wanted to show you how to remove the Dometic CTS 4110 toilet, cassette toilet, uh, if you need to take it out. Now for us recently we had to remove the toilet because we needed to do some work with our washing machine. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through it and show you how to remove the toilet. So we're going to start on the outside so let's go.